Another method to solve for deflection rotation of the beam is the area moment method and probably the easiest method you can use. So let's try solving the first example using this method. At this moment, I will not recommend you to continue watching unless you have already watched the videos in the description. So the first step is to solve for the reactions. The second step is to draw the assumption of the elastic curve. You can check if your assumption is correct depending on the sign of the tangential deviations. The third step is to assign a moment center at which you think would be the easiest to draw the moment diagram by parts. In this case, the best location of the moment center would be at support B. Again, if you understand the videos in the description, you have to imagine the moment center to be a fixed support. The idea is that if the load will cause the beam to deflect upward, it will give you a positive moment. Whereas, if the load will cause the beam to deflect downward, it will give you a negative moment. So let's try drawing the moment diagram by parts, beginning from the left. For the reaction at A, it will cause the beam to deflect upward, so the value of the moment is positive. For the uniform load, we don't have a single moment diagram by part for this. So what you have to do is to extend again the uniform load up to the moment center, then counter that load with an upward equivalent load. So the moment diagram by part of the uniform load would be and for the countering uniform load, the moment diagram by part would be Now for the couple, it will cause the beam to deflect downward, so it will give you a negative moment. For the triangular load, we can already draw a single moment diagram by part for this. And finally for the tangential Newton load, Now to determine the rotation at A, which is the angle with the horizontal of the tangent line to A, we must solve first for the tangential deviation of A to B or the TBA. So for the moment diagram by parts, we will only consider this portion. Remember that tangential deviation is the vertical distance of the tangent line to any point on the beam. solving for TBA, we will just get the summation of the product of the area of the moment diagram by parts and the distance of its center into point B. Now to solve for the rotation at A, remember its value is very small, so instead of solving the tangent of TBA over 4, you can just solve for TBA over 4. To solve for the rotation at B, we must solve first for a tangential deviation of B to A or the TAB. To solve for TAB, we will just replace the distance of the center of the moment diagram by parts from B to A in the previous equation. Solving for the rotation at B, using the equation theta BC equals theta B minus theta C, we can solve for the rotation at C. For theta BC, or the change in slope between tangents at B and C, we will only consider this portion, and then solve for its area. Now we can solve for the rotation at C. For 
with the flash let's see that simply TCB minus this value solving for TCB to check if the summation of the elastic curve for this portion is correct this value should not exceed the value of TCB otherwise the elastic curve will look like this to determine that value we will just apply the ratio and proportion the resulting value is less than TCB so it means our assumption is correct now we can solve for deflection at C For the maximum deflection, again it will most probably occur at the position of the uniform load. Let D be the point of the maximum deflection and X be the distance of the maximum deflection from the left. Taking a moment the distance X from the left, as you notice, the tangential deviation of D to A is also equivalent the maximum deflection since the tangent line drawn at the point of maximum deflection is always horizontal and the change in slope between tangents at A and D is equal to the rotation at A so to solve for X we just equate those values the value of X is less than 2 so it means our assumption for the location of the maximum deflection is correct. Solving for TAD, which is also equal to the maximum deflection. So that's it for the area moment method. Thank you.